Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 61. This week I'm going to be talking some about the motion and distance sensor that I have for the camera axe. So I have done a previous video about this and uh, told you sort of the basics. Um, the way the sensor works is it's an ultrasonic sensor. It has a refresh rate of about 20 hertz and on the camera axe it can detect objects out to about 10 feet, maybe a little bit more, um, and it'll tell you a number where uh, the larger the number, the farther away something is. So, what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm actually been testing it out by the bird feeder, and I sort of want to show you that setup so that people have an understanding of sort of what kinds of things this is capable of. I mean, clearly large game, like if you're trying to detect a person or your dog or cat or things like that, which I've done in the past, it's going to work. But is it sensitive enough to detect birds? That's the question we're going to answer today. Um, I'm also going to uh, point you to a data sheet in the uh, show notes so that you can uh, look a little bit more about the technical details of the, the sensor that I'm using. So here's the setup I'm using with the camera axe, and I have my bird feeder uh, right there. So the camera axe is just taking pictures of the birds as they arrive to the bird feeder. So if we look at this, I just quickly taped the uh, motion distance sensor from the camera axe to the top of my lens hood so that it's pointing in the direction of the uh, camera. And then I have the camera and that sensor connected to the uh, camera axe. So if we exit this, you can see that I have it set up to trigger on sensor one and I pre-focus to yes, which is pretty important because that makes the camera respond a little bit quicker. Um, and then the default value for the distance sensor when nothing's blocking it in this setup is about 480, or I mean about 495. And uh, that means that I set the trigger value to low because low means something is blocking it. And I set it to 480. So anything that sort of goes in front of the distance sensor will trigger it. So now I'm just gonna demonstrate how this works with a roll of tape. This is Gafford's tape, and uh, hopefully this will set off the uh, camera axe. There you go. It uh, triggered the shutter. So um, that'll take a picture of the tape, and if a bird flies in front of it, it'll take a picture of the bird. It's pretty simple. Um, I think that's all I have to show you folks today. At the end of the video, I'll put a few uh, images I captured of the birds with this setup. Thanks for watching.